I'm Dylan Black. It's happening Saturday, June 9th. It's the Empower the Children ride, and it's taking place at the BA Machine, 7174 Bank Street. With us right now, we have, well, we have Superman. Hello, Superman. We Hello, Dylan. Have, uh, Thank you for having us. Thanks for being here. And Pan is with us as well. Thank you, Dylan. So before we get into Guardians of the Children, exactly what you do in this amazing event coming up, can I ask you why you're called Superman? Uh, it comes from when I was a kid. I've always been, uh, you know, uh, always a bit of a nerd, always into comic books. Yeah, and, uh, that's cool. Uh, I always had on Superman shirts, so growing up through high school, everybody knew me as Superman. And then getting into what we do now, it's uh, just been my dedication to our organization and what we do. And a great organization. Pan, same question. Why, why are you Pan? I actually got that name. I was in the transport industry for many years. I was a director of safety for a transport company, so I had like 300 drivers. So there my 300 lost boys, so they were calling me Peter Pan, and that kind of stuck with me also for this organization. Well, you guys definitely are superheroes of sort uh, because of what you do. Uh, Guardians of the Children, okay. So Superman, let's talk about uh, this amazing organization. Okay. Yeah. So we are a volunteer, uh, non-for-profit uh, volunteer organization that uh, uh, we help advocate and protect kids that are victims of child abuse. That could be in any way, shape, or form of the word, be it sexual abuse, mental abuse, physical abuse, verbal abuse, bullying, parental alienation. Uh, we operate off of referrals. Mm -hmm. So if a family gets in touch with us or a family friend, maybe an agency that gets in touch with us, uh, they know somebody who's uh, dealing with bullying or abuse, they will get in touch with us. Okay. And we will meet with the family and see if it warrants our involvement. Okay, and Pan, how long has this organization been around for? So it's not just in Ottawa, it's It's, it's not just in Ottawa. The history of uh, Guardians of the Children it actually started in San, San Antonio, Texas in 2006. Mm -hmm. They've expanded now to, I believe my numbers are correct, 56 chapters in the United States, mm -hmm. and we now have 13 active chapters in Canada. Mm -hmm. And we've been in this area here now for a little over two years. Okay, so how many, how many members do you have at this point? At this point, we have uh, 11 members in this chapter here. Okay, uh, how does somebody become a, a member? Um, again, they can contact us uh, through Facebook or anything else. Uh, people that um, that are interested in the cause, uh, they don't have to have a motorcycle to join. Uh, there's a commitment level. It's just if they're interested in helping children, uh, they can join as support members. They don't have to have a bike, or they can have a bike and be full members. Mm -hmm. uh, so they can get hold of us at any time, and we basically would do an interview with them to see, you know, let them know what we do. Mm -hmm. Uh, sometimes there is uh, a misconception as to what we actually we're, what we're actually about. Mm -hmm. So we let them know what, what we do, and we also see if they will meet our criteria in regards to helping children. Okay, why would there be a misconception? Um, I, I've had in the past where some people have a feeling like we're almost like a vigilante type organization. Hmm. We are not. We are there for the kids. Mm -hmm. We let the courts and the police and the legal system handle everything else. We're there to take care of the kids. That's all. That's good. That's very good. Okay. And you do school presentations as well, Superman. So how many how many presentations would you say you do in the course of a year? Well, we've reached out to uh, a number of the uh, school boards, public school boards, Catholic school boards, um, to uh, let them know uh, basically who we are uh, and that we offer that kind of service. Uh, we, uh, as we've discussed with uh, uh, some local law enforcement, uh, they're having to withdraw more from the school systems when doing presentations. Uh, we offer our anti-bullying presentation at no charge to any schools or school boards that would like to have us. We make it interactive with the kids uh, so that they get to take part and it keeps their attention drawn to it. We've done uh, basically one school each year um, mm -hmm. and they keep having us back every year and it's just grown. Uh, we originally started out just doing grade 7, grade 8 and then uh, this past year that we uh, did our anti-bullying presentation in another school, mm -hmm. uh, we did our presentation to both the kids uh, uh, from grades one to grade four and then grades five to grade eight. Oh, nice. So and, we were there all day long yeah. and I mean, they absolutely love us. They love the bikes. They love taking part in our uh, presentation that we make interactive again, yeah. as we said, for the kids. They must, and when you say interactive, I was thinking right away, you probably bring in the bikes and it's gotta be a lot of fun for these kids to maybe take pictures on the bikes and maybe see a bike for the first time. Oh, well, not for the first time. We, uh, we do appearances, um, I'm probably getting ahead of myself here, but uh, we do appearances at a number of kid-oriented events like Kids Fest, uh, Ottawa Comic Con, um, Healthy Brain and Body Show. We've done Kaleidoscope for Hope, uh, Teen Mental Health and Suicide Awareness Gala. Busy. 
we uh, we took part, and uh, to my understanding, we were the first uh, motorcycle group to participate in the Help Santa Claus Toy Parade. Oh wow! Uh, so it uh, you know we try to be as active in the community to reach as much of the general public to let them know of our mm -hmm. uh, of our involvement, uh, to raise awareness, and to let them know that there is another resource available to them if okay. they feel they're not getting anywhere. Okay, all right, but a minute and a half left and we need to get to the details of the Empower the Children ride. Can give us some of these fun details for this weekend. Well, certainly, uh, June 9th, this coming Saturday, uh, uh, we're doing our second annual Empower the Children ride. Uh, it's basically a ride for motorcycle riders. Uh, again, it's to raise uh, uh, donations uh, for the kids. All the money goes back to the children that we take care of. Uh, the, the location of our start point is a company called BA Machine at 7174 Bank Street, that's South End. And it'll be a nice uh, poker run, country ride, and our end uh, location is uh, Petrie Island, mm -hmm. where we'll have some music, uh, silent auctions, 50-50 uh, draw, door prizes, uh, free barbecue. Mm -hmm. Uh, it's going to be a lot of fun. Like I said, it's our second annual. The first one was very successful. Mm -hmm. And uh, the more people we see out there, and it's going to be a great weekend, hopefully. Yeah, you never know, right? You never know, but uh, we're praying. We're yeah. praying. Yeah. But uh, it's going to be a great event and uh, a lot of fun. So. Okay. Uh, Superman, how, how did it go last year? I mean, was there an amount raised uh, of cash that you are, and, and is there an amount or total that you'd like to see raised this year? Any amount that. Uh any amount that we've received or that we are looking at receiving this year is uh, every dollar helps. Doesn't matter if it's a dollar you donate, if it's fifty dollars. We've had some generous companies. Perfect. Thank you very much. Details: GuardiansofTheChildrenCanada.com. More daytime coming up in moments.